I think it's very important for a number of reasons. Firstly, I think it's important for the world to understand and particularly decision makers to see the link between climate change and some of these extreme events which could result in disaster. It's also important because irrespective of the nature of a disaster event or an extreme event, we have to equip ourselves with capacity and capabilities by which we can manage these and minimize the risk to human life and property. And I think the timeliness of this is particularly significant because, as you know, uh, there's the 17th Conference of the Parties starting very soon in Durban, where people must realize what the implications of inaction would be in the field of climate change. And we have come up with some projections of the future in respect of extreme events that might increase in intensity as well as frequency. And we've also clearly brought out where our knowledge is not adequate to come up with fairly robust and, uh, and reliable projections. So I think people will get a fair idea of what it is that might happen if the world doesn't take adequate action in limiting the emissions of greenhouse gases. I think governments will be able to use this report in a variety of ways. Firstly, they would know the kinds of disasters that have taken place and where perhaps we have not been adequately equipped to handle them effectively. We have also clearly shown what are the requirements to be able to create adaptive capacity. Uh, so therefore, I think there's a generic benefit in a sense that governments would know how to deal with disasters of all kinds, irrespective of the reasons behind them. And secondly, I think they would also know what to do in terms of creating capacity by which they can not only handle uh, extreme events that are taking place now and are likely to take place in the near future, but also those that may take place decades from now. Well, this has been an extremely productive year for the IPCC. We brought out two special reports, the first one on renewable energy sources and climate change mitigation, and this one on how to deal with extremes and disaster events. Uh, now, what we really need to do is to move on, as we are indeed doing, with production of the fifth assessment report, and that starts rolling out in 2013 and will be completed in 2014. So we've got our hands full, we're excited about what we're doing, and I'm sure the fifth assessment report will be a major step forward in advancing the knowledge of human society on everything to do with climate change. Thank you.